Hello fellow survivors, we are back here in Mystery Lake and we are trying to wait out this blizzard with all the loot that we got. So where you left me is in the trailer that I was last time, got the stuff curing, uh, fully rested and all that stuff, but uh, we got a lot of stuff to take back and there's a few things to check out as well. We need to map the, um, the uh, vista or rather the lookout tower. And there's a few places we haven't really been to either. We haven't been to the, the mid-levels here. We haven't been to the eastern side. So we might do some of that stuff today. Now there is a blizzard outside. Which isn't the greatest. I'm going to start by eating a couple of these. And then I think we're actually going to go in the blizzard back to Trapper's Cabin. Or at the very least to the nearby cabin or something like that. Let's eat one more. I'm just carrying this stuff around. So it's a blizzard outside, but that's all right. We can uh, we can manage that. Uh, if you know your way around in a blizzard, then you shouldn't be scared of it. But if you're not sure, then don't risk it. I'm pretty sure I can do this. So we're gonna start by let's see. There's that. So in that case, it will be here. And we're going to take this route probably all the way back to Trappers. And then dump all the stuff and then we might go back to Lake Overlook Cave to get rid of some of this cabin fever. But we'll see how we get on. We're lucky and have a bit of a quiet blizzard right now. It usually it's very, very noisy. But for now, I think lately it bugs sometimes and you get these blizzards that aren't that noisy. At least this is not that noisy. Now if you're not if you know your way around, then blizzards are not that much of an obstacle because you can find especially places that have landmarks, you can find your way around in all of them. So blizzards is more of a nuisance than anything, and sometimes it's a positive because the the animals won't be out in the blizzard. They'll only be out if they were already near you when you were outside and the blizzard hit. Other than that, they won't be out. So it actually gives you a moment to to travel. And in this case, it's quite easy. You can just follow this road because on my left, you can see there's these uh, little like dugouts or whatever these are. So if you follow this, it will eventually take you to the path that goes up to uh, the abandoned lookout. So from there, it's quite easy. And then you just find the, the river. And then it's more or less a straight shoot to trappers. I might stop in the cabin by online pond to warm up. But now we're going to go straight there. So I'm just going to stick to the left here and have this little uh, slope in my sights and then we'll take a right when we find the sign there we are it's a bit further here i think is the way up here you can see the sign we were here earlier that's the sign up to the broken or destroyed lookout tower so we're gonna actually go this way now up this slope and we should get to the unnamed pond cabin and we can warm up there a little bit <coughs> should be up here i believe i could go all the way there but the problem with that is yeah, we'll probably take a bit too much damage. We might even get hypothermia. So this hill. Still looking for the moose by Trappist Cabin. He hasn't shown up yet. It would be nice if he did. Get some more food cooked. Okay, then it should be down here. Right is the little open passage thing. I think the cabin should be in front of me now. More or less. I 
Can't see it yet, but it's, it's around us somewhere. Might be a bit more this way. Yeah, there it is, yeah. So you see, if you know where you're going, you can you can just use the blizzards to your advantage. But of course, if you have no clue, if you if you don't feel confident, then you shouldn't do it. I'm gonna sleep an hour to warm up. Blizzards are, are great in the sense that they remove the wildlife, but you get super cold though. And if you have the resources, um, then you you should just wait it out. I know the maps pretty well, so I just go out in them, but not always, you know, it depends what the purpose is, you know, if my purpose is to go hunting, uh, there's no point. If the purpose is to explore, there's also no point, but if you're just traversing from one place to another, then they're not that big a deal. And we have this, we'll do a little sit rep also, when we get to... Trapper's Cabin. We can't really stay in Trapper's Cabin because of the um, because of the f uh, cabin fever, but we'll we'll do a little bit of organizing there, and we'll probably just go back to Lake Overlook Cave, or maybe explore the the eastern banks, get rid of the cabin fever, and then we'll go to a new area afterwards, and then we can also craft the second bear coat. It'll be extra warm. There's the Hunter's Blind by Online Pond right here. And then it should be more or less this way. And I'm running, which, uh, and I'm heavy, so I drain my fatigue quite quickly, but that's okay, because it's really cold out. So I'm just gonna wait for this to be fully charged. I'm looking sideways. And then I'm checking how much sprint I have, and now I'm just running. There's a lot of scary noises, like it really sounds like this is an animal about, but it's just branches and snow and stuff falling. Okay, we're getting there. I don't think that's the carcass rock. Things a bit further. I think it's a bit more to the left, but we'll find out. It's a bit more this way. I recognize the slope when I see it. There's the maple. See that? See that? That's the or oh, the birch that I cut down earlier. So this is where I was before. And if you get here and you realize, oh damn, I took the wrong turn and this is just a big wall. Here, from here it's very easy if you were to get lost. If you were to find this wall, just follow it. And it will take you all the way to the rabbits outside trappers. So if you get stuck, just, just follow this wall instead. And then you'll get there. A little bit further and probably will get a sprain because it's on a slope and I'm carrying a bunch. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> exactly like I said. <laughs> and now I can't run. I would bandage it, but we're not going that far. It's just over this hill here. So you can just follow this wall. And now we should be getting to trappers. Picking up actually. We might as well uh, harvest this. And there we are, back at trappers. So you can see. Actually, it's uh, clearing up. Seems like the blizzard is ending. Yep, it ended. We're still going to take a moment in here though, because we need to situate ourselves. We brought a bunch of stuff back here. We're going to leave behind. 
This is over. Let's get organized. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna refill my lantern. Because it's not much left in there. Never empty the jerry can, otherwise it will despawn. We don't want that. There we go. This back. There we go. Alright, so let's sort out a few things. We got a bunch of these cans, which I'm just picking up. We also got a bunch of saplings. So let's drop these. All these saplings. Got a wolf pelt. How many wolf pelts do I have? Is it... Um, okay, it's three. But we need four, I think it is. There we go. Let's put some stuff in here. Put the cloth in here, except for one. Feathers in here. Put scrap metal in here. And we got some other books. Let's put that in there. This is gone. Alright, let's also harvest this thing. Let's drop some sticks that we can use as well. We got a lot of wood here. Let's drop all of the sticks. Use it for later. And this we can just... Let's drop one of the books too. Yeah, it's fine. Let's harvest this for tinder. I don't want to stay in it too long because of the cabin fever risk, but... Uh, let's see. Oh, we got a lot... Of, why are they different conditions? That's just weird. <laughs> How did that happen? Oh, let's put it in here. Uh, put this in here. Let's also take these, put them in there. We don't need this. Down there. The rest I think I will carry with me. Yeah, we'll put this in there. Oh, this is about to get ruined, but that's okay. Yeah, we don't need to repair anything yet. Maybe this. And wait a bit. That in there. That in there. We got two pry bars. We don't need that. Let's drop low condition one. What else do we have? We have a bunch of stuff, so let's see. We don't need this. We don't need that. We don't need... Uh, we don't need any of these. We can harvest this. And is that it? Is that everything? I think maybe it is everything. Yeah. Alright, so the cooking pot. Just put it next to here. This, let's find somewhere we can start stacking these. I would say... Let's put them all... Last time I did it here, but there was too many. How about... Well, this for one can go... Let's just start stacking these, like, here or something. Oh, actually, I think that goes in here. We'll organize that later. Yeah. This we can put in there too. And I want to grab that. That's better. Now let's see. Um, we could put that here. How about under here? Because there's so many of them. And there's going to be more of these. You'll see I'll find, I'll find an absolute ton of these before you know it. But we can just start stacking them under here. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Alright, well, I think that's about it. Uh, there's a few... This is ruined, so I think we'll leave this here. Later. Let's just put it here. When I'm cooking level 5, I'll eat this. And... Same with this. I'm not going to eat this now. It's too risky. We'll just put this, like, here or something. Build a mental shelf here. <laughs> okay, I think that's about it, really. We could maybe leave this one too, just to be sure. Ow. 
that it? I think that's it. Bow, I need to make another bow soonish. Yeah, I guess. I guess that's it. Nice. All right, how much for this one? All right. Okay. How's this looking? Seventy six. All right. Okay. Then let's do. So water. Let's grab one water. And I think that's it. I might bandage my sprain because I don't want to stay in here yet. But I think let's do some mapping and whatnot. Let's go outside. And let's actually map one here. There we go. I like making a map. Let's see. Moldy, ruined. How moldy is it? 34. Hmm. I love this. Rancid. 28. Not looking too good then. I guess we could take one of these. Let's do two of these. And one of these. And one of these. So we're going to smell a little bit, but that's alright. And I think I'm actually going to bandage this just so I can run. And I can map a bit more. Okay, so we're going to smell now, but that's okay. So we're going to now head to... We haven't done this. So I need to do that mapping. And I also need to get here to pick up my stuff. And we need to go... There's a few smaller bits I haven't done up here on the western side, but I think we're going to leave those. But I haven't been to any of this on the eastern side, so we're going to do that. I don't think the bear is up, is he? Still no moose. No. Okay, so we're going to head to the lookout tower to do the mapping there. And I will map quite a big chunk. And then from there I think we'll go probably back to Lake Overlook. Just to sleep there for the night. Get rid of some cabin fever. And then we'll explore. Uh, actually we don't have to go to Lake Overlook. We'll have to see. Because there's a bunch of caves on the eastern side. We don't need to go up there. We can just go... We can just go um, to the cave that's the old bear cave, or the one in the plateau. Yeah, I'm getting hungry, but that's right. Actually, let me switch to this, because if a wolf shows up now when I'm running, that's really bad. <laughs> but let's head to this lookout tower here. And after we've done all that, we pretty much have explored all of Mystery Lake. So we don't really have to worry about it for a while. Except for a little few smaller things that I didn't find. So then it's time to move on to another region. Oh, a sapling. There's a wolf right there. He hasn't smelled me yet, but he will. Yeah. Uh, that's good, he ran away. There's like a very small chance that a wolf will flee when it detects you. There's a base uh, risk of that happening. I'm not, I can't remember how much it is. It's not very high. Like a couple percentages. And you can modify that in custom settings. So if you do a custom run, you change. you can change the wolf fear risk, which is how likely it is that a wolf flees when it finds you. A lower difficulty is set higher, so every now and then when a wolf finds you, they will just flee. And on Pilgrim this is off, because on Pilgrim the wolves will always flee when they find you. But on Interlope it's, uh, it's reduced to, to low. So, generally speaking, when a wolf finds you, they will just stalk you. But now and then they will, they will follow you and actually attack you. Oh, sorry, now and then they will just flee, is what I mean. This little area here is really good. Because this little... Uh, ...clearing... ...has rabbits and usually one, sometimes two there. And the wolves don't really come here. They only really come here if you killed something and you smell. So you're pretty safe here. I got two there, or doe.
There's three of them actually. You know, if you put them together. If, I don't pull them up soon. if the deer, um, if they banded together to take me down, they probably could manage. But you know why they don't fight back? Because they don't dare to. The pain of that sinking. All right, so let's go up here. I don't really want to sleep here, but we might do it uh, because, yeah, I think we will because. Oh, let's just go because um, we're going to spend a lot of time outdoors in the morning, so it doesn't really matter. Even if we got cabin fever, we would be okay, I think. Because the next day we're going to be outdoors a lot. If you smell, then you need to be careful here. Not going up. Going up is fine. But if you go up here and you smell like I am, and you check out the tower and then you go back down, what's going to happen is that a wolf will possibly follow you up the trail and when you come back down there could be a wolf like around here waiting for you and that's uh, very unexpected and you can die from that so when you go to sort of like dead ends like this you always need to be a bit careful all right so we're back here for the mapping so let's do that should be here on the stairs There we are. There we are. This the location. So we're already cold, but that's okay. Let's map this. There we go. Look at that. Even mapped a bunch of this. So now we mapped a whole bunch of Mystery Lake. It's already looking quite complete. Need to map some more on the right and east, as well as really here and the western part. But it's looking good. The uh, Polaroids in Mystery Lake revealed quite a lot. That's pretty good. Snow if the hypothermia wouldn't kill me. A wolf. You ain't gonna hit the wolf from here. This <laughs> can be done, but it's not worth it. We'd have to aim. Wow. Well, I think not. Let's not waste the arrow. All right. I think we're gonna stay here. pick this up. Did I not pick this up last time? I don't think I did, no. I think I thought this was a normal book. Well, good thing then that I checked it twice, right? Another reason you should always check things twice. Alright, I'm going to... I don't know if this got 20 minutes. Let's wait here for a little bit. Okay, then we're going to drink a bit. And then I'm going to read the book. Uh, this one. I'm starving. As long as I can, really. I think you can read another hour. And then I think we can finish this book, but I'm, I don't really want to eat these yet. So I'm going to eat this. And then we will have a little bit more water. And then we will read this. So now this is done. One step closer to cooking level 5. There we go. Nice. I could read this for the fun of it, but it doesn't really do anything. How's our skills looking anyway? Level 4, level 4, 2. Could eat anything. Getting this to 3 is great. Fishing 2, but I haven't done any fishing or nothing, have I? <laughs> Archery's getting them ending. It's going to take a while. Okay. Sound like an aurora for a second there. Okay, I think now we're going to... We can drop this. The cure. I mean, I could start... I could start reading this for the fun of it. You don't, they're completely pointless, an interloper, even though technically you can find a gun. But I'm just doing, reading it for the fun of it. See how far we can level the skill, just for the sake of it. Oh, yeah, we got two hours. Nice. Okay, so now we're going to eat one of these. 
Did not get food poisoning from that. There we go. Have a drink, and then we're going to sleep. For 10 hours. Alright. It's morning, but we can sleep a bit longer. And eat this. Like that. And then we'll sleep another two hours. It's slightly lighter out and uh, should be easier. All right, how's it looking? I always do this. Looks like we got a foggy day. Oh, partially foggy anyway. Camera view risk is not as high as I would have thought. Looks good. Not sure if this place gives you cabin fever, I'm pretty sure it does. Anyway, we are now going to go, we don't need to go to Lake Overlook, but we need to check out all of Mystery Lake itself. So we're going to do that, and also the, the caves. And then I think we're pretty much done here. And I don't think there's anything to map here, is there? Not really. I guess the full-on mask entrance, and that's it. The fastest way down is usually to go this way. Just go over this stuff. And then I just go down here. Pretty straightforward. Looks like the fog is probably lifting as well. And we're gonna drop into camp office. To drop where we don't need. Is that a can that's hidden there? I think it is. Let's check out this can. I don't think I ever looked at this can before. It's kind of like a hidden one. Hundred and sixty-three. <laughs> Can run a little bit. It's not particularly cold though. How cold is it? Minus eight. All right. That's the wolves. What? He ran away. Right. He should be fine. We'll drop into camp office and just dump a few things. Could warm up a little bit as well. There we are. This is a nice little airy morning. It's uh, foggy, but not so foggy. And we got parasite risk, but that's about it. Yeah, we're looking really good. We're going to now go into the camp office, we'll drop a couple things, and um, maybe warm up a bit, and then we'll start looting the lake itself. Uh, all the fishing huts, um, all the cabins, and there's a couple other smaller areas as well. And then I think Mystery Lake is done. By then, hopefully the bear hide has been cured and we can make the bear hide, the second bear coat. And then we're pretty much armed to the teeth. The only thing we're really missing is another pair of wool socks. And um, another wool sweater, that's it. We could uh, craft a couple things, but it's only really the bear coat that we need. I do need another wolf coat, uh, wolf pelt to make the wolf coat, but I don't really need it, not really. So here's camp of us. And after that we need to choose a region to go to. I'm leaning towards going to Coastal Highway, just because there's a bit of clothing there. I'll probably go there, but and we can go via ravine as well. But we'll see. Alright. Stuff. I'm gonna drop a few things here. We're gonna drop this. And uh, we'll drop this book. I don't think there was anything else. We, we can harvest this. And uh, this one too. Uh, 
let's also let's do this warm up a little bit and I think that's it I don't think there was anything else really uh, no not not really we don't need this anymore because we have this so let's drop that yeah I think that's good all right yes okay we can uh, pass time a little bit let's just have some cloth pass time until we warm like completely warm let's do that there we go um let's go all right now we're going to go and check out all of this stuff. We could grab the cattails, but I don't really need them as much anymore. So I like leaving them for later in case I ever need to replenish my supplies. I like to always carry 12 cattails and I try to not eat them. The reason I carry them is because, well, they never really expire. And if you want to sleep at night and not take damage, you just need to eat about six of them for a full night's sleep. So in the event of an emergency and I run out of food, I can starve myself and then eat six cattails before sleeping and I'll regenerate health while sleeping. And then the next day I have another six cattails for another night of sleeping. So it, having 12 cattails basically buys you two days of survival. And at this point in the game when I can hunt, I don't really need the cattails as much. So I don't pick them up uh, beyond the 12 unless I feel I really need to. Okay, we're going to check all this stuff out. I will kill this wolf if he's annoying me. Which he might. <laughs> he won't come in here. that I can see now. It's usually a corpse around here too. I don't think the bear is here because the bear is by trappers and the other bear is by unnamed pond. So this shouldn't be a bear. Oh, it's clearing up. Yeah. You can see even though it's not clear yet, you can see that the sky is turning kind of like this bright blue which means that even though it still looks foggy it is changing to clear so if i do this you can see that it's actually maglin's weather Rough. Yeah, i guess that's it he shouldn't be able to get in here. Pretty sure. Yeah. There you go. Nice. There you see, now it's cleared up. Now I can make a fire. And I wouldn't mind making a fire later to cook what meat I have left. I'll have to see. Might do this in reverse. Let's see. Um, go this route here. Crows. Change the storm, eh? <laughs> if you don't know already, like the a lot of people used to think that the crows that fly uh, flew overhead like this, they meant something. But of course they, they don't mean anything. It's just ambience. Uh, it's very easy to test. And if you want uh, to know more about it, you can look up a video I have about crows. Check the search for crows on my channel and you'll find it. Uh, but they don't mean anything, it's pure ambience. It's a nice ambience though. But the circling crows, which are... I thought I saw some. Uh, they mean something. They mean carcass or corpse. Alright, so over here is the bear cave, but the bear shouldn't be out. If you do a custom game, and you put bear spawns to very high, uh, then uh, the bear will be here. Because there's four bear spawns at the moment in Mystery Lake. 
Uh, but there's only two of them out on Interloper. Let's see. No cloth. And sewing kit. Okay. And this is all mapped already by the Polaroid, so we don't need any mapping here. Okay, then we're going to go this way and check out all the cabins. After the cabins, we'll check out the caves and the plateau. And then we'll take the probably the axis uh, back home. And then we're done pretty much all of Mystery Lake. There's a couple smaller places I haven't been to. And that's it. But those smaller places can wait. There won't be anything there other than like maybe a sapling or something. So, so this is fine. Let me just quickly take a moment to check here. Also check behind here. Yeah, exactly for this reason. Nothing there. On low difficulties you can find a rifle here. So always check behind. And then let's see what we got. Nothing. Hope nobody needs More to purification me. ones. And one day, not now, but one day, I'll go around and I'll break down all these chairs. Because sometimes there's stuff behind the chair. Uh, I haven't done it that many times, but once I broke one down and there was like a candy bar in there. Uh, I think this is new. I don't think this was there before. All right. What else have we got? Now we're going to go to the next three cabins that are over here. By the way, if you're not familiar with it, these cabins, as long as some other cabins in the game, like in uh, Coastal Highway, it's random whether they are up or not, because they are determined by chance and the loot uh, uh, availability. So but this cabin here will always be up on Interloper. So this one here. Actually, let's use this. This one is always up. Uh, and here you can have anywhere between zero and three and today I have three up and over there by this pair there's also three and they can also be zero and three I think you always have at least two up on interloper uh, I this is actually the first time I think I think this is the first time I played interloper and all three of these cabins have been up usually it's not the case this is very noticeable when you are in Coastal Highway. Because in Coastal Highway, around the garage, there's a whole bunch of, um, of, these, um, of these cabins. And if you play on lower difficulties, they'll always be there and you never think of it. But on Interloper, they could all be gone. I have had an Interloper run where only two cabins around the garage was actually up. And everything else was burnt down. So... There was hardly anything to loot. A little bit darker in here, so I'm going to use the light. So these are randomized to a certain degree. But the lower your difficulty is, the fewer of them are burned down. Let's see here. Not much in here. Let's just keep this burning because we're going to go into another cabin. It's quite light out, but sometimes you miss things because they they are a bit hidden in a little bit of darkness. So I like having the lantern out if I'm not sure, just to make things a bit easier to spot. Uh, don't think... Ah, spray can. Put it get away, huh? Yeah, also check in the crates. I guess that's it. Yeah, one more, as well as a corpse. All right, uh, got that. It's the same as the earlier cabin. You can see they have the same design, same inventory as well. This will come in. Light shelf and Parker. Wow. 
this was early game, that would be a really good find. But at this stage, I don't really need them. Okay, I don't see anything else. I guess that's it. Okay. And then we have this corpse. We have a lot of feathers now, which is great. Okay, I'm just going to check the pier. If you're playing lower difficulties, you should really look at these closely because you can find hatchets and knives on these piers, but not in Tilope. All right, let's go this way. There is sometimes a wolf right here. I don't think there's anything up there. Let me actually check though, just in case there is a... Um, sapling or something. I don't think so. I think it would show up on the Polaroid, but let's just check to make sure. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything here, no. There can be a wolf patrolling here. So when you cross here, be extra careful because it, it can happen that a wolf is running about and you don't want that. So here we only have one cabin. I think this particular cabin actually is always up now that I think about it. I don't think this is zero to three. I think this is always up. This is the forest talker cabin. If you play the story mode, uh, this cabin, you interact with someone there. And I can't remember ever seeing this burnt down. So I think maybe this cabin is always there. I'm not 100% sure about that. But the other two can be burnt. And on the other side also, they can all be burnt. The one close to the bear cave is always there. I think we need the light. Ketchup chips, t-shirt. Uh, I don't see anything else. We'll come back one day to break down the stuff for wood. All right, so that's all the cabins searched. Then there's a couple of other, other smaller things to do. Let me check on there, anything here? I don't think so. No. Oh, here there's a cave. I don't think there's anything really in this cave. This is the old bear cave. So if you play Hunted Part 2, uh, this is the end of Hunted Part 2 and the cave where the old bear lives. But he's not here now. <laughs> Maybe in the future they'll add a bear here. And if you're going to be absolutely sure, you take this out. The first time I survived 500 days, I used the distress pistol pretty, pretty frivolously. And I ran out on day 150. But so far, I don't think I, don't think I used it at all. Okay. This is the test cave. I used this cave as a test to test out fire when I was uh, making my first... 10 tips video ages ago. All right, then there's uh, a couple other things. So here, there is a rope leading to an upper level. There isn't much to this upper level, but there are animals up there and a couple other things. So you can take this rope and you just climb up. I don't think you can go this way. At least I've never done that. We can see. Can you go this way? If so, they've changed it. You didn't used to be able to. Let me just see if this is possible. I don't think you can. That would be new if that was the case. No, I think this is more like meant to be a shortcut down, if anything. But there is another way you can you can get up there. Which I'll show you. Yeah, no, this is definitely not intended. Especially considering this tree here. This tree is growing, growing through the rock. <laughs> okay, no. So you can climb the rope. I have sprains now, but you can climb up there. And on lower difficulties, you can maybe find a bunker up there. 
What we want to do, instead of going here, we go to the right. And there's a path here. Can't run anymore. How's my cabin fever looking, actually? Oh, it's gone. Okay, we've been outdoors a lot now. Uh, we're just going to follow this path here. And you get to a little slope, and you can take that slope up. Let's go here. Just keep going here, and then you get to this slope, and now you can just go straight up. And this takes you to the plateau. I don't think it has a name. Um, I sometimes call it Dave's Plateau, because nearby is Dave's Quiet Corner, so you could call it Dave's Plateau if you want. And up here, uh, on lower difficulties, you can find the Prepper Cache. Sometimes it's one of the possible spawns. And there's usually a deer or two. There's rabbits, and there's birch. And sometimes saplings as well. So it's worth checking this place out. And when you come up here on uh, the top of this hill, you basically double back to the um, to the rope. Looks like we've got some strong winds here. You can see a lot of birch around. Here's the hill. And now behind this rock here, oh, this maple there, nice, uh, is the rope. Right there. Thing. And on lower difficulties, you can find a bunker around here. One of the bunkers, anyway. Okay. Interloper, there's no bunkers other than the one in Pleasant Valley. Grab this maple. You might as well just pick these up because they're not going to expire. So. And then there is another one, yeah. Oh, there you can see there's a birch sapling over there. We could maybe hunt a couple of rabbits and just wait here. Because we do need... Can I make a fire? I think I can. Let's see if I can grab a rabbit or two. The only thing is I'm <laughs> sprained. So that's going to be a bit difficult. We'll give it a try though. I'm tapping to get closer faster. Okay. We should be safe from wolves here. They shouldn't come this far. It is possible, I suppose, but I don't think... I never had a wolf come up here. That's, the, that's Dave's corner. We'll do that later. I think there should be more than one rabbit here. Ah, oh, strange. Usually there's more than one. We'll grab this birch as well while we're here. And then we can light the fire, seeing as it's clear day. And we can uh, cook this rabbit. Right, so I spoke too soon. There is uh, the wolf followed up here. Uh, <laughs> That's where the other rabbit went. Ah, he must have come up here. Oops, too high. I have no clue where that went. I'm just going to have a quick look to see if I see the arrow. Follow its straight trajectory. See if maybe it landed over here or something. Ah, here you can see the path, the footprints on the left. So he did follow me. <laughs> Oh, this is one of those days, you know. I'll probably get a sprain head. Never seen a wolf up here before. Now, where did this arrow go? This could have landed really far away. Like, really far away. It may have landed down here. I don't even know what this could be. All right. Let's put a note then. Lost arrows. Call it Dave Dave's plateau. Possibly fell down to the lake. 
Alright. Unless it's stuck in a tree, but I don't think so. You see, when it's at an angle like that, when you have to shoot up or down, it's much harder to aim with the bow because you have to accommodate the terrain. And you can see, even though I aimed at the wolf there, I, I always shot. I don't see the arrow. I could have landed somewhere and bounced down, but I don't think so. Yeah. I think it's somewhere down the lake somewhere. There you can see the wolf has followed me up. And seeing as I killed the wolf, I might as well make a fire here. That a bit. Let's see, can I make a fire right here? I think I can, yeah. Do it. Now we can cook these things out in the open here. And we got our last wolf pelt. So if we want to make the wolf coat, we can do that. Oops, that okay, try again, before the weather changes. We'll get some wolf uh, pelts, rabbit pelts. Rabbit pelts on, is always good to have a bunch. So in the late game, pretty much when I crafted everything, uh, I often try to have a large supply of guts and hides in my base so that I can just repair things when I come back. There we go. Put a stick somewhere. All right, so uh, we're going to eat. I'm actually going to eat this. Hopefully, I won't get food poisoning if I do. Okay, I didn't. I have a drink. Now we're going to put this for one liter in each. Let's also boil this there we go. then we'll harvest the stuff grab the arrow I'll do the wolf later let's do this first how long 15 we'll do the hacksaw Meat first because it needs cooking. We'll do the other stuff after. We might stay here just to um, to uh, get rid of some more cabin fever. Okay, grab that, grab that, and then we put this for two liters. And let's actually cook this. Let's put on this. Let's grab the rest of this. All right. There we go. 20 minutes. Let's get the guts. Let's use these. I'm going to drop it right away just to not attract any more wolves. <laughs> Let me get a few supplies we can take back to, to base. There we go, that's cooked. I often get asked... Oh. Okay. Oops. Hello. Oh I often get asked why don't I use the pots more often? And it's just because there's more clicking involved. <laughs> That's literally the only reason. <laughs> but it is faster to cook things in the pot. It's always faster. That's why I always carry the pots around. Because it is, it is better. I'm gonna house all of this stuff and maybe then sleep in the cave. Cooked. Here we got. Uh, let's do one more liter. Put that on. 
Grab this. A hide stunt smells so when you walk around with it, that won't attract any animals or anything. But guts do until they're cured. Which is why I'm dropping them. I'm using button three on my keypad. Done. And then we can put and there. 24 minutes. Now it's this. And now everything is harvested. There we go, that's cooked. Getting windier. Let's also do this. Because we haven't really mapped this part and uh, not much to really map. Grab that, grab that, and then we just have this left. So just do this and then do that and we'll cook these things. Uh, that's it really. Uh, we can actually eat, let's see, what's my parasite risk? 4%, okay. Uh, we can eat the rabbit meat, just all of it really. That was the, ah, uh, it's cooking. Oh. There we go, multitasking. Done, done, and cook this as well. Eat the rabbit meat. Have a drink. And then we'll either stay here or we could take this back to camp office maybe. Yeah, so one of these is very small. And this one, 12 calories. It can stay here as a reminder that we were once here. The rest of this we're taking with. It's a bit. Don't make it. Ah. And now I smell a bit, but oh well. This probably will blow out, coming. but it's okay if it does. Take that. The rest we'll cook later. <clears throat> so there we go. Got that. Did I actually check the cave? No, I didn't actually check the cave. So let's just do that quickly. Because in here there can also be like a backpack and things. So let's just make sure that we have all of that stuff. This is on the map, right? No, it's not. We haven't mapped this cave. So we can do that too. Hey, look at this. There's a load of stuff in here. Yeah. Wood. Corpse and a bedroll. Well, that's new. It didn't used to be a bedroll spawn up here. Let me just throw that like this because I think it will expire if I map this. There we go. Yeah. Then we're going to head to Dave's Quiet Corner, but I think this will blow out. And then head back to probably camp office, to be honest. I smell that little? Yeah, I guess so. I've never seen a wolf here before, but yeah, you saw exactly what happened. I killed, I had some meat on me, so it probably followed me up there. Same route I took. And when I killed the rabbit, I smelled even more, but then <laughs> when the rabbits took the hit. All right, I think we will head to the camp office. We're going to go over here first, because there's one cave that we haven't been to. There isn't usually any loot there, not really, but we're still going to check it out. It's called Dave, Dave's Quiet Corner, or Clearing, and uh, there's a backpack there. Got the wind straight against me. below us now. We're lucky that this wind is not strong enough. It doesn't actually blow this out. 
So it'd be underneath us now. I think we can we go down here? I don't know if I've ever done it this way. It's right under us now. Yeah, we can just go down here. That's actually a little bit further down than I would have liked, but well. That a bit. Ah, minor damage. Oh, this might blow out. Yeah, it did. <laughs> I didn't expect it to go that far. Dave's quiet clearing. Oh, they changed this. Yeah, this is much better than it was before. I haven't seen this before. This must be Dave. Yeah, very nice. Nothing in it, but that was good. Uh, I took a little bit of damage there, unfortunately. But an easier way is to go here. Uh, you can just take the slope down. But I just went down here instead. Had I gone this way, you can see it's very easy. Straightforward. No problem. But I uh, can be able to go back. It is possible to get up here. It's also possible to get up there. But there's nothing to it. There's nothing really to find. So there's no point doing it. I think, considering we don't even have cabin fever risk and we've been outdoors for a really long time now, I think we can afford uh, to stay in the luxurious camp of this hotel. And then we'll go back to Trappers uh, in the morning. Oh, this wind is annoying. <laughs> There we are. Okay, so now this is the western axis. It, over there is the lake. And here, here, this leads to the camp office. You're pretty safe here. There's no wolves or anything. But one thing you've got to be careful here is that if you smell like I do, there could be a wolf outside camp office. And he could, could possibly come in here. Just like what happened in the plateau, so be careful. And I got the wind against me. I'm trying to get to cover so I can walk faster, but it's not really working. It's at a very odd angle. Oof. If you have this mm, Blizzard Walker perk, you will walk, I think it's 25% faster, I think it is. And that's it. I would like the Storm Lantern here so you can see a little bit better, but it's fairly visible. And also, if I have the Storm Lantern up and a wolf shows up, that's not good. So, I'm gonna wait. There we are, back at camp office. I once had to fight a bear here because I shot the bear and he ran off and he ran into this uh, axis. And then he uh, <laughs> he, stay, he stopped around here and started walking about and I didn't expect it at all. Ow. It's so painful when the uh, wind is against you like this. All right, here we are. Nice and cozy. Let's get the lantern out. And we'll drop the saplings here too, because we don't need those right now, and also these. And I think honestly we'll just go and sleep. We could read and such, but we probably won't have the time. Did any of this get badly damaged? Not really. Okay. Let's now eat um, nothing for now. I think we'll just sleep right away. Let's just go to sleep now. Sleep 10 hours. I think we'll sleep nine hours probably. Parasite's cured so I can eat one of the wolf's meat, wolf meats if I want to. But I think what I'm actually going to do is leave the wolf meat outside. Uh, I might eat one of them. Yeah, I'll eat one. And then eat that. I drink that rather. And 
and then we're going to take this all this loot with us back to Trappers. There's a lot of it too. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Yeah, it's heavy. A lot of stuff. Fifty-four. It's not the worst. And we're gonna leave the wolf meat out here uh, as a little snack for future Zack. Let's also do this little gift. There we go. Okay, I'm going to normally I carry my flare gun around now or bow. Because I smell, because I'm carrying the guts. But I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna have the uh, lantern out. And I'll just switch quickly. If you're fast, I guess you could do this. That's pretty good. The sun is coming up, but not quite yet. So. It's still pretty dark. Let's quickly. Yeah, hey, Wolfie, Wolfie. I can hear Wolf. Um, not walking, but howling. There was one in that direction over, over here. And if you do this, like. Set it to place, which is right click on the PC. I think it's R2 or something on the console. Um, you can do this, but I don't know. I think this is nicer. We do smell, so I am going to attract wolves, but I think I should be able to see them. I did message the developers, uh, Hintelin, and spoke to them, and I, I said that in, in my opinion, it's just my opinion, they should add the Spelunker lantern to Interloper. So if you have the DLC installed, you can get the uh, item variants, which is the wood, wood bright bow, I think it's called, and there's three different, so there's a variant of the bow, there's three variants of the rifle, and there's a variant of the lantern called Spelunker's Lantern, which burns not as bright, but it burns longer. And in my opinion, I told them, I think you should add that to Interloper and have it so you collect it in the Forsaken Airfield or something like that. Uh, I'm not sure that's going to happen, though. I mean, you don't really need it, but it's one of those little misc items that I think might as well be on Interloper. Right, here we got to be a little bit careful. see any animals I think we are good hard to see anything at all though just looking for black things on the horizon pretty much black dots big black dots that tells me something's there I think the bear has not respawned it's not that long since I killed him I think it's still gonna be a little while before the bear is back and there's a wolf that patrols this area, but he's not here right now. But I think... I think we are good, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, we should be good. No moose or anything? No moose. Has yet to show itself. The okay, sun is coming up. But I'll probably sleep a little bit into the day. And let's sort out our inventory too. And then I think it's time to craft the second bear coat. 
and uh, go on to another area really there we are let's take one of these and one of these yeah. all right nice let's sort some stuff out then so we got wolf pelts here drop that rabbit pelts drop that got some guts here yeah drop that got some saplings lots of saplings I might actually also make a new bowl before we go somewhere I'm gonna place these I'll use them for noisemakers and such later. Eventually gonna have to go to Black Rock. Okay, and then there's some other stuff. Let's just go through this. We don't need this. We don't need any of the... Actually, the books go in there. They go in the... Locker. Uh, any of this going there? Uh, we have two bedrooms. <laughs> These. And I guess that's it of the stuff that goes out. The bedrolls, there's no point really keeping them, but it's kind of funny. So I'm just gonna stack them here uh, to symbolize that I found them. Do them like this. And then this. This goes here into our little collection here. I'll tidy that later. And this goes, I don't know, here, I guess. I guess that's it. Let's see. Um, we put some stuff in here. So let's put in two of these. Put in all the books, I think. If I want the book to read, I can take mm, probably sewing. We'll take that with us. This is fire. Oh, we also have these. And then that. And then here we can just drop the wood. That and this. I think that's about it, isn't it? Let's also harvest this. Yeah, harvest this. And that. And I think we're more or less done. So that uh, we just need to make the bear coat, I guess. Oh, this also, yeah. We're carrying a lot of clothing we don't need to move that in there. And this we can move in here. Uh, these. Along with that one. Guess we can keep the rest. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah, why not? Yeah, that's good. How is this looking? 91. So if I make the bow, we should be good. I'm gonna put a little note to do. And uh, damn it, we did that. Maybe yeah, all of that stuff. So I'm gonna put make new bow plus make. Bear coat two, and then also go to coastal higher question mark. And I think that's it. Let's sleep for like two hours. Yeah. There we go. 35 days. All right, fellow survivors. I think that's it for now. So that is Mystery Lake. We looted pretty much everything in Mystery Lake. There's a couple of smaller places I didn't go to that might have a sapling or something, but very, very little now has is untouched. Eventually I need to map it completely, but we'll do that another time. But now Mystery Lake is done. The next step now is to go somewhere else. And there's a few things like collector things to do. Like for example, um, uh, Blackrock has the vest. So that's something to collect, but it's not going to expire, so it's not urgent. 
the second airfield as of this recording doesn't have anything specific going for it but probably the radio will soon be added to it but most likely we're going to go to a nearby region and i think coastal highway is best because of the clothing options there um but we'll have to see yeah so what we're going to do next time i'm going to make the uh a new bow because i want to have a high condition bow when i'm out traveling if i was in the region a low condition one's fine but traveling i need a high condition bow and then i need to make the second bear coat and then we're off to a new adventure somewhere else probably coastal highway but we'll see and that's it so that's mystery lake conquered we're all set we're off to start regional bases and explore some other places of the world and for that we'll do that next time uh, see you survivors bye bye